One of the benefits of the X version of the S5 II over the first S5 II is that you have USB to SSD recording. But a big question, I mean, ever since the S5 II cameras were announced, like should I get the X over the S5 II? Like what's the difference? What's the benefits of one over the other? I know it's something that I've kind of been evaluating as these cameras have been announced. When it comes down to like the nitty gritty of these cameras, yes, the X technically is going to be a better video style camera. I know this is like a really formal setup that I have here. I was actually gonna shoot some, actually, let me show you. So I actually have the S5 II rigged up, ready to shoot some interviews, but the person that was being interviewed on the way over here was like, uh, my kid just threw up, then I started throwing up, and it, I guess it was just a big whole mess. And so we were like, uh, yeah, just don't even worry about it. So I had this whole setup ready to go. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna use that for my talking head and I'll just do a spur of the moment video because I'm already set up, things are ready to go. So I got my sticky with notes on it. SSD recording on the X. So let's talk about the benefits of recording to SSD through that USB-C port. First of all, it's gonna be a very affordable recording storage option. So you can get like one terabyte, two terabyte SSD drives that are Lumix sanctioned basically, which we'll get to in a sec. That's gonna allow you a lot of storage on those devices compared to like a SD card that might be more in price, but less in storage, especially to get some of the right speeds that the X shoots in it's gonna be expensive to do some of those SSD cards. You're not gonna have all of the record options either. And the SSD is gonna be a very affordable way to record some of those high bit rate shoot settings, which brings me to my next point. The speed of those SSD drives are going to be a lot faster than those SD cards, which is gonna allow you to use all of the video settings on the S52X. So if you wanna shoot Apple ProRes to the SSD drive, you're gonna be able to do that because of the speed of that drive. Some of those files are like 1.9 gigabits per second, which is just blazing. So you're gonna need those speeds to record some of those settings. I just thought of something that I need to write down. Sticky note. Another benefit that you might have from working off an SSD drive, you know, the SSD recording on the X, is that with those files on that drive that you record to, you will be able to just kind of take that and go and edit right off that drive. Now, I know there's a lot of people that don't necessarily recommend doing that. I mean, it's probably not the best workflow, yes, but you do have that option to just take that drive out, put it in your computer, and just start editing right from that drive where you have those files. So that might actually speed up and improve your workflow in some situations, depending on the shoot, depending on the client, depending on your own content, whatever type of videos you're making that might speed up your workflow. Another benefit that I see to shooting on an SSD drive kind of goes along with that workflow piece, and that would be being able to hand off files that you shoot. I maybe have like three or four clients a month where I just hand the footage off, like I don't even edit that footage. So being able to record you an SSD drive, I can just put those files on there and hand that whole drive off, and it's going to the client. They can do with those files what they want to do with those files. So the ability to just hand those files off and not even worry about the editing part of them, just handing those files off, I think is a huge benefit to recording out to an SSD drive. Now, when you are picking out a drive, you want to make sure that you get the right SSD drive for your X. And Lumix on their website, I believe, has a whole list of sanctioned, tested, proven SSD drives that will work guaranteed. Well, maybe I shouldn't use the word guaranteed, but should work with your S52X. That's not to say that you can't use other drives as long as they're fast enough. You probably could be able to use them. They're just not tested and not proven by Panasonic. One of the drives I've tried, and it's a blazing fast M2 drive. They're actually my project drives that I edit off of, and then I take that and put it onto like a storage drive. I was able to record onto those drives, but that is not like 
It's not like a recommended thing. Like use the ones that are recommended by Lumix. I mean, they're affordable, they're common, they're definitely easy to find. Now, how do you set up for SSD shooting? It's actually really simple. I mean, you just plug it into the USB-C port and go into the menu and turn on SSD recording. You'll probably need to go and format the drive so that it is Lumix ready, but it's a really simple process and easy to set up on your S52X. Now, there are definitely, definitely some drawbacks to shooting USB-C to SSD with those drives. And one of the main things and one of the biggest complaints is that it's just bulky. Like you're gonna have to put that drive somewhere. Now, one of the cool things that's coming out soon at the time of shooting this video is the Condor Blue top handle, which has the SanDisk SSD drive right in the handle. And so that eliminates that bulkiness. So you'll be able to take that top handle with USB-C connected, record straight to the drive that's in the handle, and then take that handle and work right off that handle if you want to. So that part, when that comes out at the time of shooting this video, when that comes out, that will eliminate the bulkiness. But in the meantime, it is very bulky and kind of annoying to have to set up an SSD drive on your rig. And then if you don't have a rig and you're trying to record, then you'll have to like have to hold the drive and shoot and it's just awkward and weird and uncomfortable and it's, not fun, you know, the drive might fall out, and then you lose your recordings, and it's just a mess. So it's bulky, it's inconvenient, and it might not be for you. Another drawback at this point in this whole SSD recording realm with Lumix cameras is that you are fairly limited to the amount of drives that you can actually use. So like I said, Lumix has some of these approved drives that you definitely wanna use. However, that is a limited list. I know that with my conversations with Lumix, they're testing drives more and more. So the list is gonna get bigger. It's just right now, it's just a little limited in the type of drives that you can use. Another drawback that you might find with the S52X and SSD recording is that you're actually occupying that USB-C port. And if you wanna power your S52X through that USB-C port, it's actually already occupied. But like on the rig I have set up, but I actually have the USB-C port occupied with my power bank, my V-mount battery, rather than recording to an SSD drive. So I'm talking about an SSD drive and recording to it. I'm not actually recording to it right now. But that's just something you might wanna take into consideration is that, if you're used to shooting with V-mount batteries, you're probably already using some type of D-tap, but if you wanna power your X through the USB-C port and you're recording SSD, you, I, I mean, you can't do that. It's already occupied, so you have to choose one or the other. But SSD recording might be a reason to go with the X version of the S52 over the S52, and don't get me wrong. I mean, like, both cameras are absolutely great cameras incredible cameras, in fact. There's just certain things about the X that might be beneficial in the long run compared to the S5 II that you might wanna consider, especially as you develop and grow in video and maybe get more clients, different opportunities to shoot. The S5 II X might be a little bit more of like a future-proof type camera. But anyway, I know that this video is like totally spur of the moment. I mean, sticky note notes, right? But I just wanted to do like a follow-up video. As, you know, as these reviews and things come out, I know a lot of times I'm left with more questions than answers. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Is SSD recording something that interests you or is important to you. If you wanna learn how to set up your S52 or S52X, they're very similar cameras. Check out this video that's popping up on your screen right here. It will help you go through all those settings on how I set up the S52 for video. And you can just go and copy those settings and set your S52 up very easily. Thanks for watching my talking head. I'm gonna take my sticky note and I'll catch you in the next video.